Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. We're going to discuss AccuCheck Instant, the control solution, how to perform a control test, and when you should. So when to perform a control test? The manufacturer recommends that you perform a control test each time you open a new vial of test strips. If the test strip vial was left open, if you feel the test strips may have been damaged in some way, if the test strips have been exposed to extreme temperature and or humidity, if you have dropped the meter, if the test results seem inaccurate, if the, the results don't match how you feel, if you simply want to practice your technique, and it's just to ensure that the meter and test strips are working properly. A few things to note about the AccuCheck Instant Control Solution. You want to be certain it is the proper solution for your meter. Ensure that your meter is listed on the front of the package. You always want to keep the lid tightly closed when not in use. It, you should discard it three months after opening. So you'll want to record the date that you open it and do not use past the expiration date. So you discard it by the expiration date or three months after opening, whatever is sooner. And do be cautious, the solution may stain fabric. You can generally obtain this from your pharmacy, wherever you obtain your meter, they may have to order it in for you. It is not readily available in the United States, so I'm unable to provide a link to order it online. So let's perform a control solution test. To do that, you will need your meter, your test strips, as well as the AccuCheck Instant Control Solution. Your control solution may look slightly different. Um, I cannot get the AccuCheck Instant Control Solution here in the US. However, this is equivalent. This is the same control solution that you would get. The bottle just may appear different. You take a vial of test strips, remove one test strip, insert that the metallic end into the meter, just like you would if you were testing your blood glucose. Wait for the drop of blood to appear. Then you want to get your control solution and clean that tip of that off. Then you want to squeeze the bottle until you get a little drop of control solution and touch that to the end of the test strip. It's sensing that it's control solution. So you see the control solution bottle there and also that it's level two. This is level two right there. If you needed to adjust that, you could press the up and down arrow buttons to change that to level one. Since it is level two, you can hold the top button. And that lets us know that that's okay. We got a 310. You can also check the side of the test strips. And right there, level two should be between 252 and 342. And 310, of course, is between that. That's letting you know that your meter and test strips are working properly. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you do have any questions, please ask them below in the comments. I will do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.